Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another video, another vlog. Today it is Wednesday, and I don't know if this will be a day in my life or days of my life, week in my life. We're just gonna see. I just missed you guys. So, hello, welcome. It is just about 7 30, I wanna say. Yeah, 7 30, and I'm gonna go to the gym. I haven't gone to the actual gym in. I want to say like a week and a half pretty much fully open but yeah as far as my workouts have been going i've still been doing those outdoor workouts twice a week running peloton and home workouts with the weights that i have yeah ever since the gyms have opened i've been trying to keep a good balance of sharing gym workouts as well as home workouts because i know for a lot of people maybe gyms aren't still open or you're not comfortable going back yet i've been sharing more of my gym workouts on youtube and a lot of my home workouts on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, definitely go do that. And you can find more of my like minimal equipment workouts there. Here's the fit for today. I just recently got these new camo shorts from Gymshark and they're literally my favorite. I love like all the adapt seamless products from them. And so the fact that they make them in shorts now is just amazing. I'm wearing this really, really old Gymshark long sleeve. It's just a plain black long sleeve and i decided to wear a cap today because i'm just in the mood not be bothered be in my own little world i literally just washed my car yesterday afternoon and last night it was raining or something because my car is just wet i feel like my car never stays clean for long because even if it doesn't rain at night it's still kind of like moist in the air so my car's wet and then stuff will get on it and then it just is dirty again so that's why i don't wash it as often oh. but yeah i did like a thorough cleaning of my car it feels amazing washed the outside wiped down everything on the inside changed out my air fresheners and yeah i feel good i would be lying to you guys if i didn't tell you that i was listening to this song God stop. Army. So the day after BTS's new song, Butter came out. If you haven't heard it yet, go stream it. It's a fun one and you need to watch them dance to it because they are phenomenal. But yeah, I spent my whole Saturday trying to learn the choreo because as someone who loves music but just cannot dance and cannot pick up on choreography, it really sucked because I wish I could dance and look good dancing to every single song that I love. Okay, basically the point I'm trying to make here is that I'm just so in awe of dancers because it is such an amazing and beautiful form of expression and I just was not gifted in that realm. I wish I could express my love for music through dance. I tried, but yeah. Learning this was definitely a challenge. I would say it's one of their easier choreographies, but I just searched up a tutorial on YouTube. I'll leave it in the cards if you guys want to watch it. And honestly, dancing was my main form of working out this weekend. I woke up with my legs sore and I was like, wow, that was actually an awesome, effective, fun workout. It made me just want to learn more dances for fun. Why not? Okay, so let's walk you through today's leg day. So while I waited for one of the squat racks to open up, I warmed up using my hip circle, booty band, whatever you want to call it. I did 15 squats, 15 lateral raises on each leg, and then 30 hip thrusts. I repeated this two times through, and yeah, that was pretty much my warm up. Moving over to the squat rack, I did a superset of 10 back squats to one minute of jump roping. For anyone who isn't familiar what a superset is, it's basically where you perform two exercises back to back before taking a rest. And in general, they're just great for a number of reasons. They cut down your workout time. I personally like to have less downtime in the gym and also supersets improve muscle endurance. So if you're familiar with my workouts, you know I always incorporate them into my workouts and that's that's why I love them. But yeah, today I was just in the mood to throw in a little extra cardio. So after completing those 10 squats, I immediately went into an entire minute of jump roping. I kept my squats at 135 pounds and completed this superset five times. I know it sounds like a lot, but it felt great. And at the very end of it, I was very much out of breath. Next superset, I used a heavier dumbbell to do these elevated V stance goblet squats. That's what I'm gonna call it. I just set a plate on the floor to step on and focused on that depth, getting down low. Goblet squats are a great sort of full body move because it requires all parts of your legs and also core, arm, and grip strength. I did 10 of these and immediately went into some alternating assisted pistol squats. Using the bench is a great way to progress into a full pistol 
muscle squat. So if you want to do that, go ahead. But I didn't want to completely kill my legs. So I opted for this variation. And as you can see, it was still a bit of a challenge for me. 10 total, so five per leg. Next superset, I did these single leg hip thrusts using that same heavier dumbbell. I did 10 on each side before moving on to 20 jumping lunges to really burn out the legs. Final exercise here, not a superset. I just did single leg RDLs, 10 on each side. I used the bench next to me for a bit of support since I was feeling a little wobbly at this point. You could stand up against the wall or just do them without assistance if you're a boss like that. Four sets of that will wrap up this leg day. I hope you guys try it out and make sure to tag me on Instagram at San Francisco if you do. I love seeing and sharing you guys, putting in that work. It just, it makes me so, so proud. Elvis, hey buddy. Did you miss me when I was at the gym? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I washed my hands. I'm not gonna pet him with dirty gym hands. He's so fluffy right now. Your hair is long for the summer, Elvis. After that last haircut he got, I'd rather him keep the long hair. From my understanding, people really love the Elvis content, so that's what you'll get. I just took a shower, feels amazing. I want to quickly do a little what's in my gym bag, even though I don't think anyone has ever really requested it, or not recently at least. But I wanted to show you this new gym bag because it was my first day using this bag. This is the lifestyle duffel bag from Gymshark and I love it. Previously, I was using this backpack, which is a Jan Sport, but I actually took off the logo and sewed on this little patch. I've been using this for literally years, all throughout college. I would bring this backpack with me. I like the idea of a backpack because you can just like sling it over. The only thing is that this only has two pockets, small one in the front and the big one, obviously. I carry a decent amount of stuff with me, so I just like to have different compartments. Also today I met a girl in the gym, her name was Haley. She was so sweet, she came up to me and we just chatted it up. Super cool meeting someone. I feel like that really, really happens at my gym. It was great meeting you Haley. if you're watching this. She was also wearing a really cute pink little ensemble which has inspired me to wear this right now. And I'm pretty sure that she was wearing the exact same sports bra. It's a really pretty pink. But yes, this has so many pockets. I freaking love it. There's a pretty big mesh pocket in the front. I used to kind of slip my phone throughout my workout because I feel like whether it's I need my timer or I need to check what's next on my workout, this is just easy access. Then it also has a zipper pocket in the back, which I can also use for my phone. But in here, I just keep different headphones. I just have my AirPods and then my Bose sport earbuds. I also keep a spare camera battery in here and a little tube of Aquaphor because my lips do be getting chapped. My camera's flashing red right now, so I'm gonna change the battery really quick. I kept my keys in here today as well, so. Everything fits in that nice little pocket. And then on this side, I think it's a shoe compartment. Oh, it is. I would probably keep my Converse in there or my running shoes. The middle part is split up into two, so there's one bigger portion and then there's one little like flap. In this smaller section right here, I keep, of course, some Built Bars, which by the way, thank you so much to Built Bar for partnering with me on this video. As of lately, they've been my favorite protein bar because they come in so many yummy, delicious flavors. We love the texture, the flavor variety, and the nutrition facts on these are pretty solid. This has 130 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein. I have a stockpile of them in the kitchen. I keep some in my gym bag, as you saw, in my car, if I'm on the go, whatever. It's just the easiest way to get in some protein, refuel my body, Body, especially after a workout, even before a workout. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to try out Built Bar for yourself, I'm going to leave a link to the website down in the description. You can also use my code HUEY10 for 10% off your order. Thank you again to Built Bar for partnering with me on this video. Back to the what's in my gym bag. Moving on, same pocket, we have this little towel that I just keep rolled up in case I need to wipe my sweat or lay it on a bench. I have some sanitization things, so I have this pack of wet ones and then a little thing of hand sanitizer. Main pocket now, we have my pre-workout. Normally, I'll either keep this in my bag or in my car, but now that I have space, I'm just gonna keep it in my bag. This is the Beyond Raw Lit Pre-Workout, Jolly Rancher flavor. I keep my booty band, which I use pretty much every single leg day. This is from Suzy B, 
Oh, I always thought it was Susie KB. Susie B Fitness. Few accessory type of things. Weighted jump rope from Gymshark here, and I used this one today. I also have this other jump rope, which is like a cheaper one. And I probably will not keep this with me anymore, actually, because I like the other one better. I also just keep this long resistance band here. Ability type of stuff. You can use this for leg days. I don't use it too, too often, but it's nice to have. Water bottle. This is a swell bottle. And then I'm so glad that I have this longer bag because I can actually fit my tripod. I've been using this one more in the gym recently and it's just so much easier to get the right camera angles. I also bring this tripod with me, if you guys can see. It's pretty compact, but it can extend to be super tall and get all the angles your heart desires. But yeah, that is everything in my gym bag. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I think I hear the movers outside. So we're getting a new couch and we've been without a couch for like two, three weeks, maybe longer. It feels like it's been forever. And before we had this like ginormous white leather couch and it was basically one huge rectangle. We've had that couch for a while. We loved it to death. So many family memories on that couch. Just like my sister and I karaoke Elvis sleeping in the corner on the pillows, family movie nights. You know, having a couch is pretty essential to any household and for us to not have it for the past few weeks, it's been kind of sad. Are you excited? No couch for you to sleep on. The couch, a little love seat, got the coffee table, the rug. <gasps> Elvis! Alright, so I've been wanting to organize the drawers around my desk because I have a lot of drawers here. I have the IKEA these guys on both sides so i have a lot of drawer space but i feel like i'm not using them as efficiently as i could like a lot of my drawers they were organized at one point and over time i just kind of like throw stuff in there so i'm just sorting through my stuff getting rid of things trashing things and just sprucing up my desk space i found this folder full of old college stuff i think this is like the last of my college work that I have. I'm like 99% sure that I threw out all my old notebooks, old notes, but this folder is like the last of it. I have so many scantrons. <laughs> I'm never gonna have to take an exam ever again. Okay, well, that's that. Wow, all these study guides that I used to do. This was like my most efficient way of taking notes. Oh my gosh, business to business marketing class? I doubt that I'm gonna ever sit down and read through all of these and study them, so I think it's time to say goodbye. Let's see what I got on this final. Old flashcards from presentations. Now I have a nice empty folder to use, store other things. Still have these bags full of pens, my essentials for when I was in college. Look at all these pilot pens in literally every color. I forgot that I even had these. Oh, that's heaven. Heaven. Muji pens. Oh my gosh. This is a great pen. My fancy lead pencil. Yes. All right. I just finished tidying up this part of my room, my desk space. I mean, it doesn't look a whole lot different, but it feels a lot less cluttered. I moved some of the stuff that was down here, like notebooks, my bullet journal and all that to these little compartments, which just hides right behind my laptop when it's open like that. I used to have books here, but I'm just gonna keep it clear. Have some jewelry laid out, my care of vitamins, recycling, trash. Gonna wash these gym bags. And then I'm gonna return this pull-up bar that I bought at TJ Maxx because if I wanna do pull-ups, I'll just go to the gym. I've had it for a couple months now and have never opened it, so. Might as well return it. Now I gotta fix this situation. I seriously am running out of drawer space here and I'm very much considering taking out all of these t-shirts, which are basically all my volleyball t-shirts and just storing them away for now because I haven't played volleyball in over a year. So I rarely go into this drawer and it's a pretty big drawer that could store other things. I have some other gym clothes that I want to store in here instead. I think I need to. Wow. I am so upset right now. Facing my sister right now. I can't believe you went! I passed by McDonald's three times today and I was gonna go, but I was like, no, it's her day off. Maybe we'll go together. What? I feel. You should have told me. You didn't answer my text. 
Show the camera. It's the BTS meal from McDonald's. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I guess I'll get it for dinner then. There was like no special packaging, nothing. It's wait. just the chili sauce. No, wait, what about the bag? Wait, which one did you order from? Order this it from, is from like Geneva. Geneva. Oh, okay, so that's the one that I passed. From what I've seen on other TikToks or whatever, it's like a brown bag with little logo. Oh, yeah, it's not the bag. I'm sorry. It's fine, I'll go later. This sauce is pretty freaking good. It's like gochujang, but like sweeter. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the one at Stonestown, because I drove on 19th just to see, and I saw like a big poster from afar, and it looked purplish, assuming they're advertising for the meal. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Oh, I feel so betrayed right now my sister and i have been on this journey with bts pretty much at the same time you know she already liked k-pop a little bit before me but i think the the real love for them festered around the same time last year usually we like to experience these things together such as bts coming out with their own meal with mcdonald's but you know it's fine we're on our own schedule things happen i think i will get it later so Stay tuned for that. Here we are. Ah! It's really not that special, but still. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my heart too. My heart too. Got the meal. I'm so excited. Well, actually, I'm not really that excited to eat McDonald's, <laughs> but. I'm just excited to have it in my possession. It was so cute inside. They had it all decorated, put balloons, their photos. We got it. We got it. Oh, it comes in a bag? Mine came in a box. Oh. Anyway, so we have 10 piece spicy chicken nuggets, which I've never tried from McDonald's before. By the way, I don't eat McDonald's besides on road trips, egg McMuffin, fries. I do love McDonald's fries, I'm not gonna lie. And then a drink. I got a sweet tea and we gotta add some half and half so it tastes like a milk tea. Oh, is that real? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, can I try it? I never even thought about that. I used to do this as a as a kid. That is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'd never even thought about that. It does that. taste like milk tea. Yum! And then of course, we've got the sauces. Just sweet chili. <laughs> no. Sweet chili. Yum. And Cajun. In case I don't like the sauces that much, we got ranch because that's a safe bet. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like a honey mustard. Like a hot mustard, mm -hmm. which is my favorite. Mmm. So Ooh. Get this stuff in. Wow. Ooh, it's a little spicy. Mm hmm. Sweet chili. Sweet. It's very sweet. No, I am a fan. Thank you, BTS. Good morning. It is Thursday and oh my gosh, I'm running so late to my workout class as per usual. Do you guys ever have those like, oh shit moments where you realize how sore you are without even getting out of bed? You can just like feel it in your body, all the tension, muscle achiness. Oh man, yeah, that is me. This morning after yesterday's leg day. Ah, I feel like I haven't been well rested for my Tuesday, Thursday workout classes in a very long time. I always choose Mondays and Wednesdays, which are the nights before, to get not too good nights of rest. To stay up late and not sleep well. Oh, she's good, but she's really sour because she just brushed my teeth. Peach mango green tea. I think it was last week maybe. I was at Target and I was just in the energy drink section taking a look and i realized like i haven't tried a lot of these things i've never tried this celsius flavor i picked up a couple alani new energy drinks just to try and just having them in the fridge has been nice because on days like today where i just want to put something on my drive it's good sometimes a scoop of pre-workout is just a little too intense for me in the morning <laughs> Today's class was so tough and yeah, we were sitting around afterwards for like a solid 30 minutes. It's already 10, yeah, 10.34. I swear it never gets easier. It's always a challenge, which I love about coming to these classes. The friends who I come to these workout classes with, it's been just about a year for them since they started working out here at the park, which is crazy. Time is flying. I started late July of last year. This has definitely been the most consistent thing in my life in the past year. 
just wiping off my hands I'm a little grimy this hand sanitizer is the best if you're ever at Marshall's or TJ Maxx keep your eye out for this because it was five bucks and this is like the only sanitizer that I've come across that does not smell like straight up rubbing alcohol or tequila or whatever it actually smells really good this is perfect timing because i need to go make an exchange at zara last night my sister and i went to the mall that's when we got the mcdonald's as well and i did purchase something but i could not try it on in store and so now i need to go exchange it get a different size i'm gonna go do that and then i'll meet you guys back home i just took a body shower but it's really warm in the house so I'm sweating already. <laughs> so I went to the mall, exchanged these jeans that I got from Zara yesterday. I'm actually wearing them right now because I want to see how they fit. They fit way better than the ones I got yesterday. And I was like very in between sizes. I've never purchased jeans from Zara. So yesterday I had the six and the eight in my hands. And normally I'm never an eight, but they just looked really small. So I just went with the eight because I don't know. I was like, oh, if I need to return it, then it's fine. But I should have just went with my normal size and yeah, these are it. White denim jeans that go all the way down and they even touch the floor a little, which is great for all my tall girls out there. You know the struggle. I also picked out a couple tops, just cute, fun ones for the summer. And yeah, I'm gonna pair it with these jeans because this shirt is not it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. This color is amazing. Ah! Bright green, so fun. It's more of like a sweater material. It's slightly thicker than a normal tank top. The top is a little bit more boxy, but I like it, I like it. I've also been on the hunt for a new pair of black denim shorts because all the ones I own, they're literally booty shorts that just, it's not cute. So yeah, these are great. They have the buttons going all the way down. But yes, I love these. They're a bit longer, so I get more coverage on the booty, which I appreciate. Nowadays, I think I just prefer a pair of shorts that are slightly longer they just feel more comfortable i don't have to worry about anything hanging out not that i have anything to hang out these are pretty much the same exact style but in a different wash light blue slightly distressed and yeah they're comfortable and then this is the last thing the orange crop top i don't have much orange in my wardrobe so i thought this would be fun but yeah that's my little haul from zara a lot of essentials that i will be wearing a ton this summer very excited about it by the way, I did finish cleaning this side of my room yesterday. I moved these books here. I also put this candle out on display. This is from Birthday Candles. They actually sent this to me. They do special scents for every single day of the year. So whatever your birthday is, that's the one you can get or you can get any day, really. I haven't lit it up yet, but from what I can tell, it smells pretty good. It's sage, frankincense, oak moss. It's a little bit of a muskier kind of manly scent, but I like to have different scented candles in my room so that if I'm in a certain mood, then I can just light that specific one. So I have this here. I have this one in the corner, sparkling yuzu from Target. This one's more of like a citrusy scent. And then here by my desk, I have this rosemary linen one. I've been lighting it a ton. I'm almost done with it actually. Yeah, I'm gonna repurchase this for sure. And then this one, Jasmine Chai, it's just a very clean, clean scent. I have been just catching up on emails since I've been putting it off all week. Also, I've been sipping my coffee, which is now almost gone. I'm sad. These glass straws just came in the mail today. They're from Amazon. I've been so excited to drink iced coffee out of them. It's so satisfying. Now that I'm taking care of that, I'm going to just edit Edit, edit, edit. Probably start on this vlog too. All right, see y'all. Good morning, it is Friday. And yes, I am indeed wearing a unitard one piece. <laughs> happy, happy weekend or very, very close to the weekend. I always consider Fridays to be pretty much the weekend. Today I woke up pretty early around 6.30, got out of bed and I'm gonna go work out. Probably downstairs though because not that I don't have time to go to the gym but I just have a lot of other things that I would rather get done this morning so I'm just gonna ride the peloton really quick. Kiko's coming to SF for the weekend so she'll be here later today. This weekend is Memorial Day weekend so she'll be staying here but yeah before she gets here I just have some things to take care of. Washing sheets right now and just cleaning up around the house. Yes first things first let's work out. My lower body is so sore this morning so I figured a little bit of cardio, maybe some arms. That'll be good for today. Oh my god, this is so far. Uh, what are we in the mood for today? You got me, Ali Love. 60 minute feel good ride. This woman right here is my absolute favorite. I actually haven't tried that many different instructors, but out of the ones that I have tried, I always come back to her classes just finished and immediately after I was like, holy crap, 
I'm like kind of not okay. <laughs> I just realized that earlier today I said my legs are sore. And so I'll just do some cardio, maybe a bit of arm. But riding the bike is like all legs. And so in the warm up, I was like, holy crap, how am I gonna survive 60 minutes? My legs are even more dead now. I'm so exhausted. I've never been so tired riding the Peloton before, but wow. I made it though, I survived. I definitely took it a little bit easier today, just doing what my body needed, slowing down, lowering the resistance, you know, that sort of thing, which is totally okay. More spinach, I'm gonna put a lot. It's literally spinach with a side of eggs. Here's the spread, holy crap, I feel so, what's the word? Diminished? No, 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 wait, depleted, that's the word. I had an early dinner last night and I ended up sleeping really early too, so I guess this morning I was just hungry. This has been my go-to lately, I'm pretty sure I made it in my last video, but I really, really enjoy it. When it comes to breakfast food, I can eat the same thing all the time, and usually if I like something, I'll stick to that for some time and then Sometimes I'm on an avocado toast cake. Sometimes I'm on a peanut buttery, chocolatey oatmeal cake. Recently, it's been this. Mmm. This is a glass of oat milk, by the way. Which I usually never do. I usually just add oat milk into my things. But I needed some sort of liquid to eat with my toast since it's pretty dry. All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you all so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.